Uh, so maybe you could tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today and, and what sort of service you're offering and what you're looking for. Sure. Yeah, my name is Matt Pitts. I'm a group support worker at Hastings Voluntary Action. We're here in Hastings Town Centre today as part of uh, Volunteers Week. We're here to meet people and talk about the wide range of opportunities that are available to people in Hastings to volunteer. Uh, we'll also be launching some of our um, taster sessions uh, for potential volunteers in June and July. So to access those, there's no need for application forms or anything like that. Just a case of signing up, coming along on the day, taking part, getting to know people, um, and seeing if you enjoy it, basically. Sounds great. <laughs> to a couple of hours a month. There really is a whole range okay. of opportunities for it. Great, and could you just run through a quick list of the type of things that you need volunteers for? Sure, yeah, so there's a whole range of things outside. So it could be working at Alexandra Park Greenhouse Group to help them in the development of the greenhouse within the park. It could be working with Education Futures Trust uh, on their projects uh, or helping them to develop their site. Um, it could be something uh, indoors, helping out with a cafe, um, helping with sit, serving teas and coffees, meeting people. Uh, it might be sharing your skills, so that could be IT skills that you can share with people or particular knowledge. We right. also have organisations looking for trustees. Um, again, yeah, a really wide range. Okay, so is this started or just starting, this volunteer? Yeah. Over 50s? Just it's just It's just starting. So Laura and Debbie, you'll both be running the service? We will be, yes. For the um, over 50 volunteers? We will. So if someone comes in, they'll see either yourself or Laura? Absolutely, mm. yes. If you could just tell me a little bit about uh, the service you're offering and your yeah. volunteers you're looking for, Absolutely. that would be good. Absolutely. So friendly is funded by the Department of Culture, Media and Sport. About getting people back into volunteering who've perhaps taken a break due to bereavement, long term oh, okay. illness, perhaps caring for grandchildren. Mm. But it's also about helping people over the age of 50 to get into volunteering who've perhaps got barriers such as mental health issues, confidence, things like that. The benefits for them, obviously, are that they're going to be sexually engaging, so there's going to be a two way benefit in they're helping people but mm. also getting something back. They're perhaps preparing to go into work, so they're upskilling, they're adding to their CV. And how do they have to volunteer regularly, or could it be a one-off? How does that they work? They can do it via a volunteer taster session, where they mm. just dip into something, so it might be just for an hour in the community cafe. Yeah. Um, or they can sign up to something longer term, depending on what their commitments are. Okay. They can do it, they can belong to an age-friendly club, which they can access in one of three ways. Okay. So it can be a physical attendance at a club. Okay. It could also be via <coughs> Facebook. Okay. And it could be via a centre as well, so they don't have to physically attend if they don't feel comfortable doing so. Okay. People can get in touch with myself or Laura, my partner in crime, at Hastings Voluntary Action on 444010. I'll just zoom in there. Okay. They can also contact us via the HPA Facebook page. Okay. Or they can pop in and see us at Jackson Hall. We're more than happy to sit down with people, have a chat about what their barriers might be, and how we can help them to access the club. Great. <laughs> 